Let's say you have a bunch of programs in your wine directory and you would like to keep a backup just in case some nasty little malware creeps in. Well, I'm going to show you my tricks for backing up the wine directory. and We're going to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. I am running Linux Mint 13 XFCE edition. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate for you today should be able to be done on just about any Linux distribution. For those of you who have followed the Linux Mint 13 XFCE bootcamp, you have everything you need to know uh, for making your desktop look similar to what I have. Um, Everything that you need is in there. Uh, I downloaded uh, all of my graphics, all of my uh, all of my cursors, and everything directly from the software repositories. Okay, let's begin. First, this tutorial assumes that you have already installed all of your favorite Windows applications and you have all of them installed into your default wine directory and that would be located in home your username slash dot wine and you will have a directory structure like this and you will have all of your files installed into your program files folder just like I have demonstrated here okay now to begin one thing I like to do is I like to install all of my applications and all of my regular applications themselves always go into my default wine directory as shown here on the screen and then once I have all of those programs configured then what I will do is I will make a tarball of that actual directory so that I have a backup of it and the way that you do that is by issuing a command into the terminal and believe me folks I beat my head on the counter a number of times trying to get this to work right and then I found this nifty little line of code that we can issue into the terminal let's go ahead and open up our terminal now and it just so happens that I have a fresh terminal that with which to work at so I'm gonna go ahead and issue a command tar that's tar space charlie foxtrot zulu space tilde slash forward slash and and then um we're going to give it the name so let's just call this wine uh 82012 dot tar dot gazette this is the name of the destination file and then the file that we are going to tar is tilde slash dot wine and that is a forward slash on those as you can see if you're uh, looking at this in high definition uh, if you're not looking at this in high definition I suggest that you do so so that you can read the text on the screen and then simply press enter what it's going to do is now it is going to tell you that tar is removing the leading forward slashing forward slashes from member names this takes a while to complete when this is completed then you will see the prompt appear here for some reason using a graphical front end to compress my wine directory always caused some errors so running the tar charlie foxtrot zulu command as shown in the terminal allows me to be able to compress this directory into a tar ball and uh, use that at a later time okay now you can see that it has completed because now we have our prompt right here let's go ahead and close our terminal something else that I really like to do is uh, make another tarball and what I do is I basically by holding down the control key I press the folders here 
that wine has made in my home directory. And it looks like these are the only ones that I need. And then right click on these and then select to create an archive. Okay, and I'm going to call this file name uh, Wine Home. And then press create. Now these are all the files simply that my Windows applications have placed here and now we have a folder okay now I have already made a backup so I'm not going to use this but I am going to copy this here and then I'm going to move this to my backup folder in my archive you'll see I have a folder called wine where I can paste that here and now all of my all the files that wine has put in my home directory are here for my programs that I use most and then there is another file here called launchers let me explain what this is now what and I'm going to actually just create a new one to show you how this works basically you'll notice I have a quick launcher here that has all of my favorite applications and in here are some Windows applications as well so you may also have desktop launchers or an icon on your desktop and basically what I'm going to do is copy the commands from these and put them in a file here for later use so in case I need to make launchers uh, let's say I decide to reinstall Linux on my system I have a backup of wine and then I have a backup of the launchers as well so let's go ahead and do this I'm going to go into properties on this and then I'm gonna select Dreamweaver for instance and select edit okay and then the command to execute this file is here so I'm gonna right click and copy and right click and paste okay and that is the command that launches the program okay and then next I'm going to uh, just press cancel on this and then I'm going to select the next launcher which happens to be fireworks I use this program all the time and I'm going to select to edit this and then of course I'm going to copy this whole command line here right click copy and right click uh, move into another line here and paste and I'm just going to press cancel I'll go to Fruit Loops now Double clicking on the line here also will highlight the whole thing. Cancel. And then I'll do the next one, Flash. We'll edit this and we'll just copy this whole line. Paste. And then we'll just say File, Save As. And then I'll select my backup drive, of course. And archive wine and launchers save it and we'll go ahead and overwrite that all right and now I can go ahead and I can make launchers in the future to access these programs should I decide to install Linux at a later time you can also copy uh, this information from any uh, .desktop files that uh, Wine may have placed on your desktop, or you can even get them from your menu should you have them placed there. And those are the three files that I have. Launchers, my actual Wine directory, and then of course uh, my all the files in my home folder. And I do this immediately after... Um, installing all of my favorite applications in wine this way if uh, malware or something does creep it creep in at least I have a backup of everything here that way I can just go ahead and delete the wine directory and then just restore my backup and not worry about losing anything of further interest you will notice I also have another folder called play on Linux virtual drives you can use this same command to backup those virtual drives if you wish personally I only use play on Linux for installing games and I already have backups of all of my save games and that sort of thing so in the event that one of these wine directories were to get uh, any malware or that sort of thing I just simply delete those wine directories and reinstall the game because I have 
my save game saved from years ago, actually. So, But you can back up these directories much the same way as you would, would have done uh, with my uh, command that I showed you earlier. Well, I certainly hope that tidbit of information will be useful for most of you out there. But if any of you guys know any other really good tricks for making backups, please put them in the space below. Thank you.